Hey blues fans, John here with the Blues Guitar Institute and in this lesson we're going to continue building out that Texas style groove in the key of A we've been working with in the last couple of lessons. Two lessons ago we worked on this groove. its paces and we built it out over an entire 12 bar blues progression with that same funky Texas shuffle feel and in the next lesson what we did was we actually inserted a few licks throughout the 12 bar progression and in this lesson we're actually going to strip away some of the cording and we're going to work on a solo over a steady a bass that'll fit nicely in this Texas blues composition. So let me play the solo through. I'll play it for you up to speed and then I'll slow it down. Let's dive into the picking that's going on here. You'll notice that we switch from that real shuffle sound, um, this sort of deal, with the thumb doing that double shuffle bass, we switched into just a straight down beat. It kind of gives this thing a little bit of, um, of a different feel over this solo. And you can kind of accomplish this sort of gear shift. It's a cool way to change up the pace uh, and you can do that uh, on your own when you're playing acoustic solo blues like this is we come out of the shuffle feel with this big E7 chord, right? This is where we ended things in the last lesson just move right into an A and kind of choke down. Let's calm things down. We want to start with a nice easy feel here. And I'm going to just let this happen for a couple of bars, not really paying too much attention to tablature or anything like that. When I'm playing this, I'm just kind of playing for feeling. And when it feels good, then we're going to jump in. So that has a very A major sound to it. It sounds really bright and it sounds kind of like happy as opposed to a minor sound over this A chord. What we're doing is I'm sliding from this minor third up to the major third on the third string from fifth fret to the sixth fret. So that is the major third of an A. This would be the minor, major. All right, and this move happens a lot in blues. It's something that we do in almost every one of these Tuesday blues lessons. So we're gonna slide up and then hit the E note here on the fifth fret of the second string. And then here, come up another couple of frets and we're gonna hit that F sharp. And then back to the uh, third string on the sixth fret. Hit the A note, fifth fret, first string and then back to this F sharp note here on the seventh fret of the second string. And you're gonna let that hang for a couple of beats. 
Mm-hmm. And you really want to have sort of a light touch. That's just really getting me in the vibe right now. We're just going to kind of come into this nice and softly. And really play with the timing there. Just nice and relaxed. And then we're going to reach up here to the 12th fret on the first string. And we're going to just pluck that and slide off. And that happens in between the beat. So notice how I went thumb, pluck, thumb, and I kind of fell off through the notes. Just slide down on the fretboard. Just to have one of those um, nice little moves. B.B. King did that a lot on the electric guitar, and it just sounded so sweet to my ears. And we're going to do that. We're going to go bass, 12th fret, fall off, and then keep the bass pumping. So here we go. Let's slow this little piece down, because this little idea repeats itself. So it's very important to get this down, because we're going to start altering it in the next phrase. Four. And then we're going to come back and start the second phrase in much the same way, but we'll end on a different note. So we just come back to this E note. finish this leg off, instead of going up here to the 12th fret, we're going to do this little move. So very simple on the first string, the 3rd fret, 2nd, and then open. And when that open is happening, we're going to get back in position here to do the next phrase. But let's take a look at this second phrase, just stitched together. just repeated it. Here we are a little slower. And so putting the two together, you start to get this idea of a musical sort of theme developing here. For the third phrase, we're going to come back and do this same sort of opening melody. Right there. And this time when we shift up to the 12th fret, instead of doing this little slide downward, we're going to start another lick that actually gets us into more of an A minor sound. So here's this sequence. check out what we're doing. Um, I was hammering on from the 11th fret to the 12th over this bass. And the picking is kind of alternating in the sense that you've got the thumb and then the hammer on thumb, hammer on. Like that. So it's syncopated. It's falling in between the beat, this melody. the 10th fret at the end of this little sequence. So you pluck the 12th solid, then go back to the 10th, then we're going to slide back to the 8th. Hit the 10th on the 2nd string. back to the 8th fret on the 1st string, but push up and do a nice blues bend there, just a quarter step bend, and then land solid on the A note. That's our root right here, this high A note. Then we're going to finish this by descending through this area of the fretboard, and then finally getting back almost into home position here.
And this is what that little descending um, phrase sounds like. is getting down into this little deal here. There's a lot of repeating, so once you get there, you might kind of feel like you're home, but the trip is in the journey. How are we getting from way up here? We're starting there in this little shape here. You're gonna hit the ninth fret on the third string, that E note, and then hammer on from eight to 10 on the second string and then back to A. Then you're gonna slide down. This is a great way to shift positions on the fretboard. So we're hitting the ninth fret again and then sliding from seven back down to five. That's all on the third string. slide typically with my middle finger and then pulling off once I get to the seventh fret to the fifth and then down on this A note here but we're really going to tease out the next chord as a little uh, preview of what's coming once we get to this point we're really just kind of alternating between the bass seven of a D and we can kind of just move right into D just teasing out that D by accentuating this C note. Because we're finally going to get there when we land on this D note seventh fret on the third string. And I'm just doing a little hammer on to get us there. And this is where the chord would change. If you want to follow this through and build it out as a solo over different chords, this is where you're hinting at and then ultimately moving into a nice D7. And we'll save what you can do over the D7 for another lesson, but let's recap what we've done so far over this A. So we started out with this just kind of setting the pace here. Just let things hang over this uh, nice A steady bass. Then we start to build our theme with this idea. Come up and do the slide from the 12th fret. And then we'll do the second phrase, which starts out kind of the same. And then this little tag. And then we go back. run major just meaning our all-important run here from um, up here around the 12th fret on the first string all the way down back into this a home position here and right there we're ready to move into d land so here we go once again i'll play this through slowly without any instruction and then i'll play it through up to speed
enjoyed this lesson, but more importantly than just watching it and enjoying it, I hope that it made you pick up the guitar and get to work. This lesson will be absolutely meaningless if you don't take action, pick up the guitar, and start working on these concepts. So I challenge you to do that. Now, if you did dig this and you want to see more, then definitely subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. If you hit the subscribe, that shows me that you like these lessons and it helps grow the channel and get these free lessons out to more people into acoustic blues just like yourself. And of course, if you're not already a member of Blues Guitar Institute, I invite you to sign up. You can become a free member and get access to tab, little free mini courses, and a whole bunch of goodies back on the website. So I invite you to check that out. And as always, Keep picking, play on, and I'll see you in the next lesson.